Hey guys, Brawlers here. So EA just dropped a reveal trailer for their new Need for Speed game. I haven't watched it yet. I felt like I should do a live reaction because it could go one of two ways. It could either be awful or it can either be cool, you know? I'm hoping that they go to more of a return to form for the series. Um, personally, I hated the last few Need for Speeds, but I love the series in general. I mean, I think most people that grew up in my era do. It's kind of like near and dear to our hearts. So I'm hoping they go to more of like a return to form or maybe a resurrection of, um, you know, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, like the original one, not the shit one that they released after. Um, I'm hoping that they go back to doing like, you know, what they what they were good at, you know, back in their glory days. So um, here's my reaction, guys. I'm going to watch it live now and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, guys, so this is it. I haven't watched it yet. Let's get to work. El tiempo es el fuego en el que ardemos. Ooh. Nice ride. But I'm gonna need those keys is that a right cop? now. I said right now! Every day is danger. So take no risks. Don't go. Like Don't climbing. talk back. <laughs> It is Miami. They impose limits to control us. Limits to make us blend in. Make us safe. But we own the limits. And we'll own the night. You know how fast you were going? Survival of the fastest. No prizes for second place. But standing out means becoming a target. They destroy, so we design. Oh, actually far. They control, far damage so we create. Oh, damage? There we go. Some gameplay. If you catch fire, run. You'll burn faster. Ah, say so yeah, yeah, heat. That's what it's called. No wonder it's in Miami. Pre-order now. Fuck off! I'll never pre-order anything EA. Ever. Cool, guys. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, switch the camera up. So... Need for Speed Heat. No, don't autoplay. No, autoplay is the worst. Okay, so um, I mean it looks alright. I mean they didn't show a whole lot. They showed some gameplay. I was hoping they would, because knowing EA, they just show up some fucking trailer that doesn't have any gameplay, anything like that. But um, it, Miami looks good. Um, you know, I live very, very, very close to Miami, so um, seeing that was pretty. I was able to pick it out pretty quick, so that's pretty cool. But um, I mean. I don't know what the game's about. What I'm really hoping that they do is they that they that they get away from doing the whole um, like social media um, bro fist, you know, rah 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 type like fucking progression system that like the crew did and that they did in the last Need for Speed. You know, when you're like in order to level up or to unlock new cars, you need to get like followers for your um, your social media page or whatever. I thought that was the dumbest, the dumbest fucking thing that any of these developers can do, honestly. Like. Um, so I'm glad that they're, I mean, I'm hoping that they're not doing that. It didn't look like it from there. It didn't look as cringy. It looked a little bit more dark. Um, I did like that there was some cosmetic damage because the last Need for Speed, I posted a video somewhere. I think it was on my, uh, my other page, my personal page, but I posted a video where I ran like fucking headfirst into a wall going like 200 miles an hour with a, I think it was a, an Aston Martin, uh, V12 Vanquish, Vanquish in the last game. And there was like not a single bit of damage. There was like some paint scrape and that was it. So in this one, it looked like there was some car damage, which was pretty cool. Um, it looked like there was some destructible environments. So when he knocked down the fence, um, the fence, you know, just like exploded basically and crumbled. So that's pretty cool. Um, the attention to detail looked pretty decent. So I'm, I, I don't know. I need to see more before I, um, you know, get too excited about it. I need to see what the game's about, how it works. I don't know why that cop got out, got out of what looked like a, ch a challenger or something. He had like full body armor, um, and he said some he said some stupid line at the beginning. Um, what was the line he said? Let's go back. Let's go back and check out the line. Oh my god, I gotta go back an entire video. Um, what does he say? Let's see. Nice ride. Now. Now. I said right now! I said right now! 
<laughs> fucking terrible. Um, hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, the dialogue's not too cringe. I mean, honestly, I don't think anybody plays the Need for Speed games for the story. I think pe people play the Need for Speed games for the uh, exhilaration of the car chases, um, the crashes. Now, I don't know, like, like, all right, I'm about to go off here, but what the fuck happened to Need for Speed? What it, like what it used to be? The the game used to be about breakneck speeds. It used to be about running people off the road, whether they're the the NPC police, whether they're like your friends being the police. You remember that shit, like back in the Need for Speed days. You could have your friends play as like the cops, and then they chase you down and they have to take you down. What the fuck happened to that? Like they had something similar to that to that, and like I think it was Payback. I don't remember which one it was, but like they they just completely lost like all tra like these developers are so out of touch nowadays that they don't even know what the, what what series they're making they're like they, they even had criterion in the last one to help them make it criterion made burnout right how do you fuck that up you have need for speed and burnout you combine them you make a hybrid baby and you make an amazing racing game but somehow they had the worst dialogue they had like the worst tedious mo most tedious missions the graphics look like shit like I, I'm like how do you how do you go so far backwards and like i mean it was it's been three years guys so hopefully they've made some adjustments I'm just I'm just tired of EA ruining everything that's near and dear to me, ruining everything that I love, and I'm really hoping that they're able to bring this back. I hope they keep the fucking stupid monetization out of the game. Um, and I hope they don't have like some ridiculous upgrade system like the crew did that didn't make any sense. If anybody played the crew two, you had like these colored parts drop every time you completed a race or you did some cool stunt or something like that or or whatever or some event, and you'd pick them up and there's a typical tiers like white, blue, green gold silver whatever um and then you equip them on your car you know those are like the rarities you equip them on your car to upgrade the car speed and stuff honestly it made no difference um it was kind of stupid so hopefully they they allow you to fine tune your cars or do something like that um so i mean that's that's all i really got guys but i mean the trailer overall i mean it looked interesting i'm not gonna i'm not gonna board the hype train you know the industrial hype train that everyone wants us to board when we see these trailers so uh my advice is just take a thirty thousand foot view of it and just wait until we get more details um but so far um i mean it looks better than payback but then again um fucking uh what's that burger king game the burger king kart racing game looked better than that fucking game so uh, but other than that, guys, that's all I got. If you guys watched the trailer, if you're as excited about it, let me know in the comments below. Um, and we'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks, guys.